Welcome back to Broken Sword number two. Time to loot a corpse. I couldn't just rifle his body without making sure he was really dead. Ah, <sighs> fine. There were no signs of life, but I checked that Ubie really was beyond help. We were going to need the stone to thwart Karzak. I knew Ubie would have approved. It was the Jaguar stone, all right. I was seconds from death. I had to stop him somehow. Uh, stab with the dagger or die? Okay, you could just die. Okay, game. There we go. Oh, you're a little low. Pirates. Oh shit. And that will help scream good my escape when cut. Who the hell are you? Uh I can explain everything. Don't bother. Okay. George, where are you going over there? He said don't bother. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were making a movie. So who are you? Stobart. George Stobart. Uh, two B's and two T's. It's okay, Mr. Hawks. He wasn't in the shot. Hawks? This had to be Carlton Hawks, the newest enfant terrible of Tinseltown. I'd read about him. Mailroom boy makes good. Nice to know it was still possible to get to be a director armed with only an encyclopedic knowledge of postal charges. Stay out of the way, surfer boy. I'll deal with you later. Surfer boy? What, he screw his way to the top? Hey, lady. Hey there. I'm George Stobart. Well, hi, handsome. You're cute. I wish it was you playing the lead male instead of that kid. I can't act, ma'am. So what? I bet you can kiss. I couldn't believe I was having this conversation with a real movie star. What part are you playing? Pirate Bats, the ruthless and passionate Lady Buccaneer. It's a great part. I get to kiss a lot, and I kick ass. Like the boots? What's it like sharing the spotlight with an actor who's young enough to be your son? What do you mean? I found this reed in the swamp on the other side of the island. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I used it to shoot a poison dart at a wild boar. It was a real-life drama, not just a scene from a movie. Right. She was having trouble with the whole real-life-is-not-a-movie concept. And you could treat it like a glory hole. Take a look at this ancient Mayan artifact. That's just a hunk of stone with a picture scratched on it. In a way, I guess. You don't happen to have seen anything similar, have you? No. Get rid of the underwear. What do you think of these? Ew, they're awful. You have no idea how much you've just gone up in my estimation. Hi there, George Stobart. Uh-huh. Yeah. Haiku McEwen. Haiku? I may not be making millions of dollars, and I may not have thousands of nubile, if uncritical, young women lusting for my body, but I've got something that you haven't. This small piece of coal. I got it from Man, Santa. And you're getting freaky on me. Is your name really Haiku? Yeah. It was my mom's idea, okay? When I was born, I was so small and perfectly formed, I reminded her of a Japanese poem. Well, I guess it could have been worse. She could have called you Limerick. That's my middle name. 
Wow. Did you always want to be an actor? I don't think of what I do as acting, man. You're not alone. It's more like I'm the voice of my generation. What I'm saying, I'm saying for the kids on the street. Which is what? I'm crap, I'm going nowhere? Huh? What are you saying, man? Stobart, get out of shot. Positions, everybody. I'll get a flip chart and explain it to you later, Haiku. Can you explain it in a haiku? Haiku, baby, are you ready? Okay, man. Uh, which scene is this? You've been captured by Silver's accomplice, Pirate Babs, who's fallen in love with you. Nice Babs. Okay, people, top of page 76, Sharon. What about my big speech? It's been cut. Everybody ready? Up to speed. Quiet on the set. Okay, let's make magic. Oh, please. And action! So can I fuck around with shit, or do I have to actually watch this? Why don't you forget that dumb old squire and his bunch of merry men? Can't you see we were made for each other? I know, but Squire Trelawney saved my life, Captain Babs. Why, if it hadn't have been for him, that giant octopus would have made mincemeat out of me. But right now he thinks you're a traitor. He's locked you out of the stockade, Jimbo. That 20-foot high wall with spikes might have kept out Silver's men, but it ain't gonna stop me. Oh, Jimbo. And cut! Good heavy breathing, Sharon. Natch, I'm a pro. Did you get the heavy breathing flash? Did I ever, boss? We should have made this movie in 3D. Haiku, you were great. We're setting up for the stunt now, so get a bite to eat. I guess that guy over there is a stunt devil that doesn't look anything like him. Savage, on set, damn it! You, you couldn't even throw a wig on him to make him look like the same hair? Mr. Hawks, I was wondering if... Not now! I've got a movie to make! Time for the stunt, Savage! It's a short run, bounce on the plank, and somersault over the spikes and stockade wall. Do what? Plank, spikes, wall, over! Easy, a child could do it. At my age? You must be joking. I could replace you, Savage. Yeah, with an arthritic baboon. Replace me? Lummy, this could be the last stunt I ever perform. I need to think about this. Get myself in the right frame of mind. A suicidal one would fit the bill for that stunt. Fine. You do that. In the meantime, we'll break for lunch. Oh, great. I'm famished. Stay right there and meditate, Savage. Tight um, little git. Maybe we have to try and help him get over there. Are you Fred Savage? Hi. George Stobart. Hello, mate. You're English, right? Blimey, you don't miss much, do you? Bert Savage. Any relation to Fred? Have you ever seen anything like this before? What's that, mate? Stone axe? No, it's just a piece of polished stone. Very nice, very nice indeed. Shine it up a bit, you get a few bob for that. Did you ever meet Bertrand de Ubier? Meet him? No. I saw him a few times, though. He didn't like his wife being in films. Did you ever work with Carol Climax? The Dirty Dashand? I'll say. Flipping princess, mate. I heard she was very beautiful. Mind you, she acted like one, too. Ordering this, demanding that. Do you think Ubier murdered his wife? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Mind you, there were plenty of people who could have done her in. I thought the public loved her. Yeah. But people who knew her saw the other side. How long have you been in the movie business? Flipping years, mate. Absolutely flipping years. I was in the army before that. Thought to myself, you've been risking your bleeding neck every day. Why not cash in on it like? So you became a stuntman, just like that? Nah, of course not. I had to do the training first. Oh, I thought uh, joining the army was what when you decided to risk your life. What do? 
First, they told me to stand in the road. Then, they run me down. Straight up. Drove at me with a car. I couldn't believe it. I was up on the bonnet and over the other side before I realized he wasn't stopping. Then they threw me downstairs a bit and gives me a certificate. Hi. Hi, gorgeous. I couldn't think of anything else to talk to her about. I wasn't going to upset Hawks anymore by tampering with... Oh, I was going to try and mess no with No way him. was I going to try and jump it. Those stakes look real. Hi, I'm George Stobart. My name's Harris. Most people call me Flash. You're the cameraman, right? That's right. Why'd they call you Flash? You used to be a stills photographer? Nope. I decided not to pursue the subject. He likes to show people his wee-wee. What do you think of Haiku McEwen? What's to think? The kid will have earned more by the time his balls drop than I'll earn in a lifetime. Good luck to him. Will we find our stone on the, uh, on the movie set? Find out next time.